farted loudly when conditioning with a partner. <laughs> <laughs> What's up socialites, it's Alize, and today I'm here with Sydney. We will be playing Never Have I Ever. We play this game by, we have two paddles. They will ask a question, and if we haven't done that, we will put never, and then if you have done that, you'll put I have. Make sure to subscribe to Sydney's channel, and I will put the link in the description box below. And the other half of this game will be on Sydney's channel, so go check that out. <laughs> Let's get started. Never have I ever completely forgot my choreography during a floor routine. <laughs> I, I don't know, like, Wait. I don't forget all the choreography, but I forget some of it sometimes, so I just have to watch the video back, so I guess kind of I have. <laughs> I either am like, oh, I forgot, or I kind of just like dance weirdly <laughs> and I just keep going. It's either other people notice and just laugh because I'm laughing and I'm like, oh, I forgot, and my coach laughs. Or, I'm, or I just keep going and they're like, okay. <laughs> but it's never at a meet. It's usually just at practice like the day after I learn it. It's usually at a meet because I'm nervous. And then when we're on the floor and then we're warming up our routine, uh, sometimes I'll just speed through it and I'll just, I'll just be like, did I just forget a move or something? <laughs> and then, but usually when I compete, I remember my routine, so that's good. So we are conditioning and we are doing partner leg push downs and I was going up and then my I just farted like super loud and I blamed it on someone and they're just like wow <laughs> Well I I don't really remember an exact time when I've done it, but I probably guarantee I have done it before. We were probably doing something, I just farted, and everyone just laughs, and I'm just like. <laughs> Never have I ever had a crush on a teammate's brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of my friend's brothers is just really cute and really sweet, and I just like him. <laughs> Never have I ever thrown on a practice. Gymnastics can be really hard sometimes, especially when you get to higher levels, which is how I feel. But if you're really passionate about it, don't give up because good things will come out of it if you work hard. Because you don't want to be like depressed or like, should I do this or should I quit? Like you don't want to feel like that during practice. So take a few days or like a week off to get your mindset and you either decide you don't or you keep pushing. It's funny that you said that because everyone has those slots and Whenever I feel like quitting, you just have to keep on pushing through the pain. And even though it's hard, you'll just succeed in life. And always communicate with your parents. Like, if it's not the thing for you and you're totally sure about that, let them know. But if you keep wanting to do it, you should let them know how you're feeling. But be like, but I still want to do it. I still love it. It's just hard. And they'll like let your coach know or something. Take it easy. <laughs> Never have I ever cried in public because of a bad routine. <clears throat> <laughs> I do this about like every week. I'm getting a little better, but when I mess, I'm very, my coach says I'm very competitive and that I always want to do everything like perfectly. So when I mess something up, I'm like, it's good that I'm hard on myself, but I show it in the wrong way. So I just cry and get so upset. And those are moments when she yells at me. Um, because my face is all red and she's like, you don't want to look like that in front of the judges. She was like, I saw you crying during the meet, were you okay? And I was just super embarrassed because like we were in, with a group of girls and I just didn't want to talk about it. The reason why she cries is because she's so competitive and that's okay. Never have I ever accidentally forgot my grips before competition. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> I, I think I've done it twice, right? One of them, one of them was we were like leaving the gym, going home, and I was like, "Mom, I forgot my grips," and we were already like at the house. So like, I don't know if we did it the same day or the next day, but someone had to go to the gym, grab my grips, I had to run inside, and then another thing happened where we were traveling somewhere, and a friend was coming after me, and I forgot my grips at the gym, so they had to grab it for me. 
and they were competing too, but they flew there and gave me my grips. If I forgot my grips, I would just ask one of my teammates if they had the same size as my grips, and I would ask to borrow them. Never have I ever been stuck by a bee while at Um, I never gotten stung by a bee before, but one of my teammates actually did. But one of my coaches, she said, because it was right next to her head, and one of my other teammates uh, had to slap her head, but she slapped the wrong side of the head, and, and yeah. it like went into the bee. Um, I don't know where the bee went, but she just slapped the wrong side of the head. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> Even some days when I like don't want to go to practice, I just don't lie because eventually you're gonna have to do it, and eventually it ends. Never have I ever taken a snapshot of a teammate during practice without them knowing. I think. Oh wait, actually, yes, I did. Well, one of my friends, she was on the beam and she was like laying down and she was like closing her eyes because we had break, and then I secretly took a picture of her and she didn't look really good. <laughs> One time I was waiting for my dad to pick me up from practice early and I was doing oversplits on the red block block on one of our rod floors and people were tumbling in front of me and on my phone so I just snapped so someone from the back of streaks. <laughs> Never have I ever had a on YouTube. Mine would be you're so ugly and your mouth is so big um, and I deal with that just don't Pay attention to the haters and yeah. I don't usually read the comments a lot. Has there ever been a bad one you've ever seen? Oh. Yeah, they were like, you're so rude. Like, you don't have to be like that. You don't have to make fun of them. It was way back then. I was like, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to be honest. But the way I deal with haters is like kind of just ignore it. Or if it's really bad and I'm actually like a little worried, I just let my mom know. You gotta dab on them haters. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, don't ever expect to not have haters. Like everyone gets hate on. You just have to ignore it and keep going. The more successful you are, the more hate comments you're gonna get. And sometimes when people hate on you, they're either like have a rough day or something, or just don't like you, or they're jealous. That's it for this week's video. Make sure to comment down below what type of video you want me to do next, and make sure you check out Sid's channel, and the rest of this game will be on hers. Be happy, be bright, be you. Mm-hmm.